Hi everyone, I'm Isan. In today's video, we are checking out the latest features update in One UI 7, which we recently saw on the YouTube channel called Mobile Wallaby. For the link to that video, you can check out on the video description down below. The first noticeable change is the gallery application icon, which now has a new color compared to the previous list. The background has shifted from a colorful design to a blend of red and pink. This update might be due to the feedbacks that the previous colors look too similar to the iPhone's photos icon. And then here we also get a clearer look at the new quick panel design in One UI 7. Previously, the top of the panel had Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, with a large setting toggle down below. And then at the bottom, you'd find the brightness bar along with eye comfort shield and dark mode options. And now in One UI 7, they have added a volume slider option alongside the brightness bar. And then here the icon for shield option also has been moved, and only dark mode options remains in this area. The sound settings also has been moved out of the toggle section and now have their own dedicated area. Additionally, in the latest One UI 7 quick panel update includes a new section for controlling music or media playback. Now when media or music is playing, the control options will instantly appear right away in the quick panel. In the previous versions, the music settings would appear in the notification panel and not in the quick panel section. Then in One UI 7.0, the quick panel display also comes with significant improvements, allowing for greater customization. Users can now rearrange the settings positions according to their preferences within the available columns. Furthermore, you can also expand this compact toggle area to refill additional settings on a single page. Then in One UI 7, the quick panel and notification panel have also been redesigned, and their positions will now be separated. To access the quick panel on One UI 7, you can swipe down from the top right corner of your screen. This is like when you activate quick setting instant access feature on One UI 6.1. This allows you to quickly open the quick panel settings. Meanwhile, swiping down from the top left corner will bring up the notification display. Although these two panels are separated in their layout on One UI 7.0, you still also have the options to merge quick panel and notification panel in the setting. And then the next change is the position of the search bar in the app drawer. In One UI 6.1, it used to be at the top of the app drawer but now it's been moved to the bottom. This change makes it easier for users to search for apps, especially when using their smartphones with one hand. Then in One UI 7, the camera application also looks a bit different compared to the previous One UI 6.1 version. The camera modes which used to be located above the shutter button have now been moved to the bottom of the screen. Additionally, the zoom options have been shifted slightly lower to the black area outside the photo preview. This change allows you to see the full photo without the zoom button obstructing the view. Then in video mode, you can also now set the frame rate, video resolution, and HDR10 plus option by accessing the options at the top right corner of the camera preview. In the previous version of One UI 6.1, there was no HDR10 plus option directly available at the top right corner of the camera application while in video mode. To enable HDR10 Plus on previous One UI 6.1 camera, you had to go into the camera settings, select advanced video options, and then turn on the HDR10 Plus feature. However, in the latest version of One UI 7.0, the HDR10 Plus option is now readily accessible at the top right corner in video mode. Additionally, the super steady and the flash light option have also been moved to the top right corner in this latest version. And then when charging your Samsung smartphone on One UI 7.0, you can also see that the charging animation has changed from the previous version. In One UI 6.1, the charging animation on the lock screen looks exactly the same like the one on the home screen. And for the charging animation on the home screen on One UI 7.0, the animation now shows up in the top right corner inside the battery icon. And then there is also a new widget design on the latest One UI 7.0. For example, here the gallery app widget has been redesigned to look more appealing. The weather widget has also been updated with new appearance. Additionally, the recommended section which was previously part of the widget area in One UI 6.1 has now been moved to the top outside the widget area. I hope you found this video helpful. See you in the next one.